Hello and happy December whenever Tuesday is. When is, when is this? Uh, 20th. Happy December 20th for all you people out there. I am back. I am wearing a hat because it's freaking cold in here and my closet is still a raging mess. Yeah, nothing, nothing really has changed. Um, so welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while now. And by the title, you can probably guess what it is. Um, if that's the case, you know, that's fine. I understand. I hate these songs too. So I want to talk about my hatred for the top 20 songs for Christmas. Get a little bit of an insight into like how I feel about them, you know? I'll stop playing with the cover to the camera lens. Um, and let's just dive into it. Ooh, scooch you a little bit. Oh, now you can see my hideous door. A little disorganized. It's fine. So according to Good Housekeeping, they have a list of 85 of the best Christmas songs, which if you just take a moment and think about that, 85. 85 Christmas songs. Uh, a bit much? Yeah? You think? So we're just gonna do the top 20 that show up on here because I am not willing to go through 80, 85 of these stupid songs. I hate them. I hate Christmas carols. I hate when it's time to do Christmas carols. I used to like Mannheim Steamroller Christmas songs. However, um, even that has um, changed. So let's see the first. Um, okay, whatever. Sorry, this website has like an ad for like how to decorate your Christmas tree and they're talking about how you should put it on your ceiling and have it, have it drop down, like hang down instead of hanging up like a tree would, whatever. So the first song that they have on their good housekeeping list is Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. No, I will not be singing these. No, I will not be playing these because I don't want to get on anybody's toes and I don't want anybody to know that my toes are available to get upon. So we're gonna just uh, skip that. Mariah Carey, please. Does, does she do anything else? Like at all? Is she... Does she do anything? Does she do absolutely anything other than this song? No, I don't believe that she does. I believe that she crawls out of the rocks that she lives in. And this is the song that she sings. Uh, number two from 1942, White Christmas by, you got it, Bing Crosby. I have heard a lot of things about Bing Crosby. One of them being that he was not a very nice man. I don't know if, you know, it's true or not. Um, I have no desire to spend my time figuring that out. But let's see, it says Ben Crosby's classic hit about a picturesque Christmas scene is one of the most popular holiday songs ever! The Guinness World Records even named it the best-selling single of all time. Yikes. Uh, oh. <laughs> of course, they gotta be on this list. From 1984, number three is Last Christmas by Wham! Thank you, Wham, for coming up with the worst song that anybody could sing for Christmas. It's terrible and I hate it, and I wanna die. Uh, number four, 1943. All these are like in the 40s. Well, Wham! obviously was in the 40s, I was 84. 43, it's Bing Crosby's I'll Be Home for Christmas. Bing Crosby again, a stinky, dirty man. <laughs> Looks like it was a tribute to the soldiers who fought in World War II, so. I mean, that's good if that's the actual case, or if someone's making that up, makes him sound like a better person than he is. I don't know. I really don't know if he's a good person or not. And then 1944, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas from Judy Garland. Um, I personally love Judy Garland. I think that she had a horribly painful life and we should give her some slack. I was watching a documentary where the guy was talking about how in Hollywood at the time she was considered the ugly actress. <laughs> I think that's uncalled for. She is beautiful and has a beautiful voice and everyone can just shut the fuck up and get out of my face. Go Judy Garland. Jingle Bell Rock, 1983 <sighs> by Derry Hall and John Oates. Man, I hate this song. I hate this song so much. It just, it's just, I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate it. All right. Let's see, Happy Xmas War is Over 1971, John Lennon. I actually have never heard this song, or if I have, I certainly don't 
know that it was sung by John Lennon. Um, and that is my bad. You know, I, I never was, a, I, I'm not a Beatles person. I never was a Beatles person. I never like fell into like what they did after they were Beatle people. He was just a Beatle to me. And that's that. It looks like he sang it with Yoko Ono, his wife. So that's nice. But yeah, I can't pass judgment on, on number seven because I just don't recall what it sounds like. And I'm not going to play the damn video because I don't want to get copy struck. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I don't want to play that game! Okay, and then number eight is The Christmas Song from 1946 by Nat King Cole. Now, I feel very torn about, about this song because you hear it all the fucking time. It plays like at least three times every hour on public radio, but I like Nat King Cole's voice. So I like this song, but I hate how saturated Christmas carols are. And this is one of those saturation things. It's like we have an oily taco and then we add this song and it like it's extra oily. It's kind of nasty because all the oil, but at the same time, it's like you can't, you want that rich flavor. So you have to have the song in it. I don't know. This song is part of a greasy sandwich, but I like Nat King Cole. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just garbage. Okay. Let's pass on to something that I'm really upset about. Uh... Ah, here we go. Number nine, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree from 1958, sung by Brenda Lee, who was only 13 years old when she recorded The Holiday Favorite. Do I know who Brenda Lee is? Hell no! Do I know what this song is? Unfortunately, yes. No. No, I just... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, number 10, surprisingly, is Christmas Vacation from 1984 by National Lampoon. Wow. Interesting. I have seen National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Not the music video, but just their Christmas movie. I've seen it. I saw it for eight years straight because um, my boyfriend at the time lived in Minnesota. And what you do in Minnesota is one, you listen to this song like crazy. Two, you watch this movie like crazy. Three, you watch a Christmas story starting like at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving and they just play the movie for 24 hours. That's a Christmas story. They love their Christmas story um, almost as much as their National Lampoon. In my opinion, I hate both of those movies <laughs> and nothing, nothing can change that. <laughs> Let's see, 1963 Darling Love, Christmas, Baby Please Come Home. The fuck? <sighs> Oh yeah, that song. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope, 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 don't care, nope, nope, nope. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, we have come to the most divisive song in this entire list, and that is Frosty, The Snowman, 1947, by Gene Autry. He also promoted the song Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, don't give a fuck about that, um, but Frosty, 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 Frosty. I hate. Frosty, the motherfucking snowman. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so creepy. These children are building a man out of snow. Then a magical hat comes by and they put the hat on his head. He becomes real. And then he dances around the children like a pedophile. And then he smokes around them because secondhand smoke is not, you know, a thing. And he's just wandering around in town like a big old cryptid. And everyone's like, oh no. And the kids are like, ah, And I just have a problem with an animated snowman running around with children in the middle of downtown. It's creepy. It's creepy. Okay, um, a little less intense. Uh, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, 1948. It's number 13 by Frank Sinatra. The one and the only Frank Sinatra, who uh, I've also heard was quite the dick in his time. Um, I also heard that he died drinking something or taking pills and drinking something. I don't remember. My I, my lore of Frank Sinatra is not up to date. I don't know. But I can say that Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow is evil and calls upon bad karma for it to snow and then freeze the, over the roads. So him and his witchcraft of a song can go fuck itself. Amele Kalikimaka 
Merry Christmas from 1950. I am very surprised that I said that without stuttering. Bing Crosby and the Andrew Sisters. For the longest time, I really liked this song just because I liked Merakalikimaka. I thought that that was a really fun sort of word. Um, I really like foreign words. I find them very interesting. I find foreign music really interesting just because the sounds that are made, not necessarily because I understand them. If I could understand any foreign song or any song that's sung not in English, that would be a wonderful superhero, superpower, and I would love it. But in the meantime, I can just enjoy the sounds and hopefully I'm not listening to something egregiously terrible. Ella Fitzgerald's Jingle Bells is number 15. We've only got like five more of these and then you can stop seeing my face and you're welcome. Interesting. A harmonica, a harmonica version of this song was actually the first song ever played in outer space according to the Masonian. So Jingle Bells by Ella Fitzgerald was played first in space. That's interesting. Um, I wish that it had stayed there and was just the space song now. And no one's allowed to hear it unless they're watching space movies or they're going to space. Um, Santa Baby by Aretha Kitt. Now, this is another song that I have to kind of talk about. Santa Baby, Aretha Kitt. Um, I love or Eartha Kitt, Aretha, what am I, oh my god, ah, uh, what am I talking about, Eartha Kitt, I love Eartha Kitt, I think that she had a very interesting life that is very interesting to follow, and I love her very much, her singing Santa Baby, um, I get behind, but I turn the volume down very low, I don't change the channel because Eartha Kitt's awesome, but I don't really listen to the song because it's not good enough for her, so, Okay, Blue Christmas 1957 by our boy, Elvis Presley. Hey! Um, I am happy that people who love Elvis Presley have a song that they can be like, Oh my god, it's Christmas! We better pull out the Elvis Blue Christmas song! Like, you know, I feel, I feel good for them. I'm happy for them. Keep that shit away from me. Number 18 is Hard Candy Christmas from... 1982, Dolly Parton. Never have heard this song. So go off, girl. Get it. All right. And then number 19, Run Rudolph Run from 1958 by Chuck Berry. Didn't we already have a Run Rudolph? Run? No, that someone else sang Rudolph Red Nose Ranger. That's what I was worried about. Run Rudolph Run. I don't really have strong opinions about this. I don't really have a strong opinion about Chuck Berry at all. Um, the first time I ever heard of Chuck Berry, it was through Back to the Future, when his brother calls him over the phone and says, listen to this! And then it's Marty McFly doing a cover of Chuck Berry's music. Yeah, it's very much set in 1958. It's, it's very aged. Aged just okay, but it has aged. All right, number 20, and this is the last one I will be talking about. A Sleigh Ride from 1958 by Johnny Mathis. Um, just a second here. Oh, that song. <laughs> um, I've never heard Johnny Mathis sing it, and I'm okay with that. I don't like this song. It makes me feel cold. I, I, and I don't like the whip clacks, and I, I, I don't like it. I don't like them. Okay, honorable mentions, because this next one I can't not talk about. Um, the Chipmunk song, Christmas Don't Be Late, 1958. Oh, the same year, the sleigh ride, something was in the water. So this is a, from the Chipmunks, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, with David something. I don't know, my glasses need to be, um... I really need to update my glasses. Um, anyways, it's the Christmas songs by the horrible, horrible Chickmunks. We can all agree, hopefully, that this song was fine in 1958 and has never aged at all well. <laughs> never. Um, I hate the Chipmunks. I just, I just, I just hate them. I hate them. Ah, the Beach Boys, Little Saint Nick. 1963! Should have stayed there. Burl Ives, A Holly Jolly Christmas. This is another one of those songs where you hear it like every single hour, at least twice. Um, but I don't mind his voice. I don't mind Burl Ives' voice. So, I tolerate. I tolerate. Okay, I am going to stop there because like I said, there's 85 of these and holy fuck. <sighs>
just, just, just holy fuck. I'm not even, all right. I will include the Jackson 5, I saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. Horrible song, horrible message, makes you suspicious of your parents, and just bad. This is bad. It, it's, it's bad. Adultery and cheating is bad. You know, unless you have like an open relationship and then you know, it's fine. Whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop there because my mind is just not interested anymore about that. Oh, I'm wearing, I didn't know I was wearing a headband. I'll put that away later. So that was my very pathetic list of 20 Christmas songs that are top, top Christmas songs that I personally hate. Yes, I am a Grinch. Um, like, come on. I'm super Grinchy um, when it comes to the holidays. I don't really enjoy Christmas. I find it to be a very stressful, anxious thing, but that's probably a a video for another time. I've been talking a lot, not playing you anything, except for those couple that I wasn't sure were gonna play or not. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. There's so much content on this platform that your your viewing of this is great, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, happy holidays, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, just do it! All right, I'm gonna go now and edit this and decide, no, I don't want to put Christmas music in there. It'll just, eh, whatever. All right, me and my camera cover are gonna go now. So, happy holidays! <laughs>